Hi, this is Sandra from Source Outreach Ministries. Welcome back to another study of the meaning of numbers in the Bible. Today we're going to be on uh, number 35, and that's vindication. Vindication. Let's take a look what that's all about. All right. What does the word vindicate mean in the Bible? It means to clear as from an accusation imputation imputation a suspicion or the like to vindicate someone's honor so in essence um if you want to use an example of that say somebody um said you said something right and but it's not true and so you you need to get vindicated from that you need to find um a, maybe a witness that uh knows you didn't do what you're accused of uh, it's like in a court of law, right, where they bring forth witnesses to try to um, uh, put you in jail for certain things or because they say you did certain things, but you did not. So it's um, when the judge uh, gets all the information and, and then determines if it's true or not true. And if it's not true, then you can get vindicated. You can get released from all that suspicion or accusations that people are putting on you. So it's the same thing that we're gonna look at in the Bible today. All right, so number 35 meaning also has a meaning of gain and happiness. Number 35 signifies happiness, evolution, and peace. In biblical text, number 35 is a representation of the soul. It symbolized the place where our soul will rest after we die. So that's um, sort of like vindicating also, right? Because we get rest, rest. So we get vindicated. We're not going to be tormented or um, put through a lot of things. We're going to have rest. Although the um, meaning of number 35 is unclear in the Bible, it does have some relationship with Apostle Paul. So 35 is a tough number. So we're going to see what we can find with all that. Um, Paul's ministry. So this is about Apostle Paul. Matthew and John. So Paul's ministry began in 33 AD, the same year he is converted while traveling to Damascus because he met Jesus and he was converted. First of all, he was out there killing all the Jews, but then he got converted. And at, after at least five uh, evangelistic journeys and countless trials, his service to God ends after 35 years when he is martyred in Rome, 68 AD, because he's killed in Rome after 35 years of uh, going out and preaching the word. Okay, so he's vindicated, and but that's not a good vindication, right? He gets killed, but he did his his 35-year um, work of evangelist. Uh, uh, to get out there and to uh, bring the um, word of God to many people, to the Gentiles that did not know Jesus yet. All right. Then the uses of the word blood. It says Apostle Paul in the King James Version uses the word blood 35 times throughout his 14 books. All right. And in Matthew and John, we'll go to that one. So Matthew in 35 A.D., completes his gospel only five years after the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. He is not only the first gospel to be included in the Bible, but also the first Testament book written. So that's like a vindication, right? Because Matthew, he completes his gospel um, after five years of Jesus' death. And he is the first gospel included in the Bible, but also the first Testament book written. So that's pretty cool that he was first, all right? Then John, in John 11.35, is the shortest verse in the entire Bible. In the King James and many other translation, it reads, Jesus wept. That's the smallest, shortest version in the entire Bible in John 11.35. So, and that's pretty interesting, the trait, that Jesus wept, that was it, all right? Um, Joshua 3 5 Joshua told the people consecrate yourselves for tomorrow the Lord will do amazing things among you so this word consecrate also means means to vindicate yourself to make yourself um, clean to make yourself truthful to make yourself honorable 
So because tomorrow the Lord will do amazing things for you. So you're trying to be a good person to make yourself uh, worthy to be um, have the Lord to give you amazing things. And then in Isaiah 54, 17, it says, no weapon that is formed against you will prosper. And every tongue that accuses ye in judgment, you will condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their vindication is from me, declares the Lord. So this is God Almighty saying that um, his servants, the heritage of his servants will be vindicated by him, that they will have, they have a clean slate. They have no accusations, no um situations put on their name on them they are going to be clean and that there will be no like it says no weapon shall be formed against them and they will prosper and nobody can accuse them of anything or condemn them of anything because the lord god himself will vindicate them so you definitely want to think about being a servant of god and to do that you give your life to jesus because no one gets to the father except through jesus so you can do a um, prayer of salvation and give your life to jesus and then be vindicated by god almighty for everything that you've ever done okay and then in job 13 18 it says behold now i have prepared my case i know that i will be Vindicated. So if you have read the Bible, Job went through a lot of things because the Satan asked God to try to prove Job as a not a faithful servant. And God said, okay, but you can't kill him. So in essence, Job went through many sufferings, lost his family, lost his wealth, lost everything that he had. And but he was still faithful, a faithful servant to God. And so he said, behold, now I have prepared my case. He said, I know that God will vindicate me. And that is true because um, God uh, uh, gave Job back double of what he lost, gave back all his animals, his property, his wealth uh, back to him. So in essence, he was vindicated, but he had great suffering, okay, because Satan thought he can win him over. But Job was a faithful, faithful servant. So this is what I found today for vindication number 35. It wasn't a lot out there, but I hope you enjoyed what little that I was able to uh, show you today. And I uh, just ask that you will um, watch these videos on our Bible Talk show on the YouTube. Please subscribe to that channel. Uh, you can also check uh, us out on Source Outreach Ministries. And if you decide that you want to help us with our homeless and international um, projects, uh, you can give a donation and let us know which one you wanted to go to, the homeless or the international. And we will uh, thank you so much for that, helping us out. And we just invite you to come back next week for our next Meaning of Numbers in the Bible. God bless.